What's going on everybody, uh, Jesse here. Today I'm gonna show you how you can take form submissions from your site and seamlessly port that data into a Google Sheet. Uh, so to demo this, I built a little Flask app on using Python. Uh, what it does right now is I have a little server running with a site and it has a contact form. So when I press sign up, uh, it prints the content to my terminal and I'm gonna show you how you can take the first name, last name, and email that it's printing and seamlessly get that into a Google Sheet so every time a user signs up, the data goes right in. So what we wanna do is trigger your program to pass that data to Google Sheet every time the submissions occurs. So I'm gonna drag the trigger in in Wayscript and select Webhook. And then I'm going to create the three variables that I wanna pass. So first name, last name and email and it asks for default variables just for when i am building this so for now i'll just use my own name and my own email cool all right so now what we want to do is every time this webhook happens we want to pass the data to google sheets so i can grab the google sheets module and drag it in i want to write to a file so I created a website signups Google Sheet beforehand and I just select that file. And then I am going to add my columns. So here I have three columns. I have the first name, I have the last name, and I have the email. Great, so now this is set up to every time it receives the webhook, it's just gonna pass that data directly into Google Sheets. So now I'm gonna go back to my script and let's pass this data. So I'm going to write a function called send to Google and I'm going to take as parameters the first name, the last name, and the email from my form submission. So the first thing I want to do is create a variables uh, variable and put my first name, last name, and email inside. Uh, because I'm gonna pass this over the web, I wanna make this a string, so I'm just gonna use JSON to do that. And the second thing that I need is the URL for the endpoint for my webhook, so I'll just do wayscript.com slash API. And now I'm going to create the parameters for my API call. So the first thing I need to pass is the API key. So I have my API key, so in here, the API key, I just can copy and stick in here. The next one I need is the program ID. Program ID. And as you can see right here, the program ID is 5353. And then last but not least, we want to pass the variables. So one thing to keep in mind, it does matter. I'm passing first name, then last name, then email, that you keep these in the same order. Okay, so I pass my variables. And now I'm just gonna create a post request. So I'm gonna do request.post, and I'm gonna do my URL, and the params are my params. Awesome, so last thing, I need to actually call this function, send to Google every time the form is submitted. And that's it, so I'm done. So now I can go back into this site and have my Jon Snow at Game of Thrones. I press submit. And as you can see in real time, the script has executed, it started running and Jon Snow is in my Google Sheet. So this is just the beginning of things you can do. We do this on our actual website for uh, signups. You can do other things like pass the data to MailChimp if you wanna automate sending an email or to Gmail. Happy to show this in later videos. Just send me a note if you think this is worth watching. Uh, Jesse here, thanks for watching and stay tuned.